Hello there. This is African Foxtail according to the Hausa tribe in the northern region of Nigeria here on Africa Business Radio. My name is Onoja. It is another time to tell a story <laughs> and I'm very excited. Gatanon Gatanonku. Lokachin Labari. The story I'm about to share today is about a beautiful maiden and how the hatter beast got the marks under its eyes like a teardrops. Now once upon a time there lived a chief that had a beautiful daughter. She had no equal in the entire community. The maiden was due for marriage and the chief called all the villagers and said He who holds on the day the people come together and whose area hold surpasses everyone else's marries the chief's daughter. Now the single boys around the area around this village were very excited about this and everybody brought their family skill together. So on the day the chief calls his neighbors to hold. Let them come, that is the suitors now, and hold for him. But he who holds and surpasses everyone else to him a beautiful wife. Now the village of Dandara was on high tension as every young man wanted to have the king's daughter. Now of a truth, the chameleon had heard about this for a very long time even before everyone else did. And he came along. He was eating hoeing medicine. He had it all planned out to perform magic. Now when the day of the hoeing came around, the chameleon was at home. He did not come out until those hoeing were at work and were far gone. Then the chameleon came out. When he struck one blow on the ground with the hoe, then he climbed on the hoe and sat down. And then the hoe started to hoe itself and fairly flew until it had done as much as the hoers. It passed them even. and reach the boundary of the furrow the chameleon got off sat down and rested and later on the other hoers got to where he was then the chief would not consent but now he said he who ran and passed everyone else he would marry his daughter uh, then the hatter be said mm, i i actually surpassed everyone running so definitely i'm marrying this woman So the race began. But the chameleon turned into a needle. He limped and stuck fast to the tail of the hatebest. And the hatebest ran until he passed everyone. Until he came to the entrance of the house of the chief where the daughter was and passed it. Then the chameleon let go the hatebest tail. Of a truth, the chameleon had seen the maiden So he embraced her and when the hatebeast came along he met the chameleon embracing the girl Thereupon the hatebeast began to shed tears How could this have happened I ran faster than everyone else how could I have run over the house And then that was the origin of what you see like a tears in a hatebeast's eyes From that day on, the hatebeast has wept and not dried his tears ever since. And those are the marks that you see underneath the eyes of the hatebeast. <laughs> Now you know the origin of the teardrops on the hatebeast's eyes. On that note, I have come to the end of today's story. Keep a date with me as I have more interesting stories for you. Thank you for listening.